wasn't me, it was him the whole time. I want to say thanks to this video sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends has a whole giant world of amazing champions, each from their own unique factions, and those factions have a lot of lore. You can't have a fantasy world without dwarves, and Raid Shadow Legends doesn't disappoint. One of the later factions added to Raid's lineup of over 600 characters, dwarves have their own rich history within the world of Teleria. Let's get to know them better. The third race made during the time of creation, they've largely kept themselves apart throughout history, interacting with other kingdoms only through trade emissaries and go-betweens. These guys look super cool, the faction has a lot of variety in design detail. There are evil looking ones, nobles, barmaids, sorcerers, it feels like a whole society. I just love how all the characters look way different, they all have their own unique abilities, and you can really change the way you play the game every time depending on how you're feeling that day. There are two huge new bosses to take on, Astronix the Dark Fae and Bommel the Dreadhorn, along with new enemy balance on tower floors, new secret rooms to discover, and most importantly, new artifact sets to win. If that's not enough, the whole month is packed with awesome events and tournaments, including one very special event with a brand new feature, Super Raids. Super Raids will let you double up your rewards from hitting dungeons and massively speed up your progress. This is amazing for new players, and if there's ever a time to start playing, it's now because you don't want to miss this. If you want to get a huge head start raid, all you have to do is click the link in the description or scan my QR code, and you'll get an epic hero, Chanaru, who's amazing in the dupe tower, 200k silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in the game. Once you're in, you can find me in the game under the the nickname Dr. Demolition, and if you're fast enough, you can even join my clan. All this treasure will be waiting for you here, and it's just that easy. Click the link in the description, and I will see you in the game. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Don't forget, this Saturday, September 18th, is the Demolisha Gun Store Blowout at Apache Rifle Works from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. It will be me, Kentucky Ballistics, Garantham, Robert O. Burst, Cy Robertson, and WWE superstar Bill Goldberg. I feel like I forgot someone. I think, I think that's it. I mean, like, maybe other famous people will come. I don't know. Be there and bring your cash because I will sign something or take a picture with you if you buy a gun. We're trying to sell all the guns. That's the goal here. Sell all the guns in the store. Be there this Saturday. Now, enjoy the video. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. I'm here with Nigel Jones. What's up, dude? How you doing? Hello. Good. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm doing great. They're, I'm sure they're fine, too. They're probably fine. So, you're a skater? Skateboard. Yeah. So That's uh, uh, radical skateboard maneuvers. Kind of my specialty. Oh, sweet. That, yeah. Me, too, obviously. I'd yeah. kick flip and... 180s and stuff, <laughs> all that. So, what? You have a YouTube channel? You have an Instagram? Uh, yeah. Um, Instagram, Nickel Jones. We're not gonna talk about it. What? It's still a secret. Nickel Jones. It's uh, not racist, oh, but okay. I mean, like. But it's like Nigel with an extra G. Yeah. Cool. Controversy. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, skateboard. Been skateboarding for 17 years. Jeez. A long time. Yeah. So, pretty and all he, right with my craft. He's 18. It's crazy. Yeah. I know, right. <laughs> So we've actually been talking about collabing forever. Uh, he knows Donut Operator, and so yeah. we've been chatting to see will a skateboard stop a bullet, and what bullets will it stop, and if it won't stop a bullet, any kind, then how many skateboards would it take to stop a bullet? Do you have any bets? Do you, do you, do you have an idea? So I said nine mil within seven, eight okay. ish. This is hard. I mean, it's made to be strong wood. Yes, exactly. But they're just wood. You've broken a lot more skateboards than I have, yeah. I'm sure. Um, yeah, close to like 10,000 my whole life. I've broken one. So oh. pretty, pretty much the same. Same, same exact. But I've shot about 10 million bullets, so. <laughs> Way better accomplishment. <laughs> so I think, okay, we're gonna we're gonna start like we always do on Demolition Ranch. We're gonna start with a 22 long rifle. What do you think that's gonna do? One board? Three. Three. You think Max. it's gonna stop in the third? Yes. Won't go through the third. No. no. I think that's actually a pretty good guess. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna be different though. I think it will go through the first. Will not penetrate the second one. There's only one way to know. Uh, way. Have you shot guns before? Never. No. <laughs> never in my life. Yeah. He has, but he's never shot a 50 cal. Before. Have you ever shot a? I know you never shot a 50 BMG like a Barrett. Have you ever shot a 50 cal handgun like a Desert Eagle? No. No. Once. Uh, you have once. one on your shirt. Once. He literally has my exotic shirt. The moment he posted this, I was like, Yeah, no, that's mine. Yeah, you need that one. <laughs> so I actually brought my gold Tiger Stripe Desert Eagle just so he can shoot that gun with the shirt on. Yes. 22 long rifle out of the Walther P22. I think it's gonna stop in the second. He thinks it's gonna stop in the third. Put your comment below. What do you think a 22 will stop in? I guess we're gonna find out, like, right now. We shall. Oh, that's on fire. <laughs> Directly, oh, right here. right here. Dude, yeah, I went straight through one. Oh, that's a bullet right there. Oh, yep, stopped in the second. Stopped in the second. Not even a dent, and that is our bullet stuck in the bottom 
of the second deck. Okay, two. Dang, okay, these things are strong. What kind of wood are these, do you know? Uh, Canadian maple. Canadian maple, that's what all skateboards are? Or? No, they vary from okay. wherever you get. Is this, is this extra strong though? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna step it up to a real caliber now. So if you're like at the skate park and a bad guy comes up, he's gonna have a real caliber, like a nine millimeter. You gotta see how many of your friend's skateboards you have to steal to block that bullet, right? Like screw your friends, block yourself. <laughs> the Hudson, this is a nine millimeter. What do you think? I'm sticking with seven. Seven. Well, now that I saw the 22, I'm almost thinking like five. Okay. Um, man, I think it's gonna go through more. Yeah? I think it will, I think it'll stick in the seventh. I'm going to go with your first. Okay. We'll see. I don't know. That seemed like it went through a lot. It just felt, it felt strong. Okay. Two. Whoa! No way! <laughs> Dude. Look at that. Ah! So there is the tip of the bullet right there. Trying to come through the third, but it is... Hot and stuck it in the third, right but a dent in the fourth. Dude, these actually might stuff a lot. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm very surprised, actually. I really, yeah, I mean, we both thought I was going through like almost twice that. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to step it up again, see if we can get through further. We got to make it through this stack eventually. I, I hope so. <laughs> I, I, I have my doubts now. Yeah, it's kind of scary. All right. Well, that's probably the worst thing about this video right now is uh, having you stand up properly. There you go. Yeah, we didn't really have oh, a plan no. on how to Leaning actually make this stand up. Didn't think about it. Did not <laughs> consider that. How many did we say we have here? 20. 20 here. Yeah, we have 20 in a line. We might have something later. Who knows what it could be. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> 357 Magnum. Big old powerful round. About the size of a 9mm. We're going way faster. I gotta figure out where to... Where do you set this one to start? That should be it. Okay, have you ever shot one of these? These are cool. I have not. It's a Chiapa Rhino, so it's a revolver, but it, the barrel is down low and so it, just, Wait, what? it doesn't kick up very much it's all crazy. right well let's so see so if you go ahead and cock it'll be easier to fire 357 magnum yeah you're good <laughs> Woo! that was oh, a good that shot was, that was cute felt good right oh yeah like that was a lot surprisingly of, very good a lot of power but it doesn't <laughs> kick much where'd you hit her uh, i'm assuming this one or that one. Oh, i can't remember which one we'll, we'll find out man i'm scared they're all gonna fall over again ah! Yeah, so I think the low one's yours, because it's making a lot. Oh my gosh! What Third. the heck, dude? So that's the 357 right there, stuck next to the nine millimeter. Dude, three of them what can can't I say? get through. I got some strong wood. You got some. Your wood, so strong. Some good wood over here. Yeah, like I thought I could get his. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it was just gonna get hey. bad. Next up, 45 ACP. So we're gonna try something different. With the 357, we got way faster. The 45 is actually slower, but it's a big, heavy bullet. It's a full metal jacket, so it's not gonna spread and open up. And we'll see if that extra weight helps carry it through. Here's our hit, right there. Probably stopped in the third. <laughs> I would not be surprised at this point. All right, there it is, right there. Come on, 18 wheeler. <laughs> Let's just go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, we could not plan this. Nine, 357, 45 ACB, all stuck in the third skateboard. All right, I have another round. That's a really crazy round, going really fast. I think it'll make it past the third? May, probably not though. This is a 7.5 Burno. So it's like a nine millimeter, actually I think it's like a 10 millimeter size case, and then it necks down to a 7.5 millimeter bullet. So it's going super fast. It's made to be like a offensive pistol is what they call it. So most pistols are defensive. This is made so you can like shoot 100 yards with a pistol. So that is the FK Burno, safety's on. Burno, safety's and, uh, on. It's safety's got a pretty good on. kick, but it's a heavy gun, so it really, it's not terrible. Okay. Dude, that's loud. That was loud. That is a loud gun. Jeez. All right. So, did it make it past the third? That's the question. <laughs> right there. Okay. All right. That actually looks promising compared yeah, to the other ones. Yeah, made it past the second. Okay. It made it past the third. Still going. Look at that. So this is now the fifth, fifth. right? Yeah. Fifth. Still going. Sixth. Six. Still. Go Holy cow. Dude, that shows you how much more powerful that is. What are we on? Seven. Seven. 
Eight. Nine. What Still the looks heck? Like it's Ten. How can this round be so much different? Eleven. Twelve. <laughs> I'm so confused. Are these? Oh, oh, there, oh it is. there it is. That's why. So the twelfth one, it's stuck in it. It did penetrate the thirteenth, but it could not get past that twelfth. Wow. Dude, why is that so different? I mean, I know it's like a freaking powerful round, but like that much more than a 357? Like four times further than a 357 mag? Okay, I'm only shooting bad guys with uh, 75 <laughs> burnos now. That's it. That's, That's all we gotta do. You figured it out. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> well, third one is not Clark Kent anymore. No, so. we penetrated him. Yeah. Bad, hard, real hard. Okay, the whole day is built up to this. He, he actually, he bought this exotic shirt before we knew each other. So he's had this for a bit. Yeah. Um, so I brought it out in honor of him. He's never shot a Desert Eagle. It's fitting that you shoot the, the biggest and best Desert Eagle. It's the 50 cal. It's the gold tiger stripe Desert Eagle. It's got every option known to man. And he's going to uh, it. Yeah, Chocolate just said shoot it one hand like a man. So yeah. first time shooting one, that's exactly what we're doing. He's going to drop my gold Desert Eagle on the first day. You think so? <laughs> no, just hold on tight. Okay, here goes the one hand yeah. eagle. All right, got to do it now. You missed. Just kidding, you hit. It, oh my th it threw goodness. wood all the way over there. How'd it feel? It was a lot not, not as bad as I thought it was going to be, <laughs> honestly. It, your hand still looks okay, so yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Right <laughs> okay. Almost missed, but you nailed it. I actually saw, oh yeah, I saw it throw wood off over that direction. I, I found it. Did it's literally it? right here. What? Yep. And it's like upright. Crazy. It's crazy we can catch these. So one, two, three, four, five. Stopped in the sixth. Yep, it definitely was tumbling. Dude, look at that. Right, it's gonna be really hot. Ha. Yep. Ow, here you hold it. Ow. Yeah. It's not it's not hot at all. It's totally fine. Dang. Okay. I was wondering, so that's a big giant heavy round. I was wondering if it would go further or not Ow. as far, but it's just got so much surface area, yeah. I think it stopped. Jeez. All right, now I have a real question. Uh, let's get the gun first, and then I have a real question. Oh. <laughs> okay, my real question is, we're gonna shoot a rifle round now. This is 5.56. I think it's gonna go less far. What do you think? Bullets way faster. Way faster. But I, bu these bullets like explode when they hit something. Like they just I'm gonna go 10. 10? I'm going six. Okay. I think it's gonna go really shallow, but there's only on one the way, way to, to know. Go. All right, five, five, six, coming in hot. I feel like that went through all of them. That did look like a lot. That's our hole right there. Didn't go through all. I thought I saw something. <laughs> oh shoot, okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and it's still moving. Okay, I'm surprised. I really thought it'd break. 13. That totally just threw a cinder block on top of my Air 15. Real cool. <laughs> yeah, I take really good care of my guns here. You're fine. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, I think I'm 14. 14, 15. Oh, there it is, right there. Stuck in 16. Yep. There's a little topper. Stopped in 16. 16. Dang. Okay, that's pretty wild. I. So I your actually, guess is a little, a little, little minor. Yeah, I was way off. Yeah. But what's weird is I thought this was going to be mostly a pistol video. I thought for sure by the time we got to the like a Desert Eagle, it would go through everything because it's just wood. Nope. But this is freaking hardwood. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I've got a bigger gun. <laughs> we got uh, we got them flipped now, so yeah, we have all. Not the, those ones right now. Not those yet. I'm gonna do these. Oh yeah, we need those. So we have all the bullet holes on the bottom now so that we can uh, have a fresh side shoot it with a, with a 50. He brought the most awkward, slippery things ever. Yeah. Like, we, uh, I'm not, I'm not yeah, set up for this. We're gonna put this one on the front though. Okay, which one? Solid. Oh wait, we have one more. Is there? What? You want it? Where yes. did, how did you get under here? What are That's you doing? That's a board. He was trying to get out of the way of the 50. There ain't no dodge in the 50 cal. Not today, bro. Not today. All right, okay, here's the real question. Do you have real questions for you? Are we gonna shoot it with a regular 50 BMG or an armor penetrating 50 BMG? 
Do we go? I mean, do we go is it too in? bad to do both? Oh yeah, yeah my so audience doesn't like both. seeing the 50 cal shot twice. They hate. They okay, hate we that. we can do that. Okay. <laughs> 50 BMG out of a Barrett M82. His first time firing a Barrett. It's close to falling off the table, so. We'll see what happens right now. All right, all right. What do you think? It's going through all of them, uh, right? It's got you think to. it's going through all of them? I think it is. It's got to. Yeah, it's got to go through all of these. Oh, you're on my collarbone. I don't want that. Yeah, that'd be bad. Well, do I want that? I it, don't know. it doesn't kick much. All right, let's go. Actually, there, it's then. pretty good. Jeez! I love this thing. Great I need work. six of them. Great work. Um, did I hit it? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I had my eyes closed the whole time. <laughs> Street dude. That is a solid hit. Right. Great okay. job. <laughs> All right, he's he's upset. Um, we don't have to open it up. We can just look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, it came out sideways too. I mean, it's that thing was still moving. So it's gone. Probably in that tree. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. yeah you got. God. You got that. We'll, I, we'll call think, that a hit. I think that's a hit. Okay, we have one more thing we want to try. He brought a special skateboard. Yeah. Possibly made to be bulletproof. We don't know. Oh, yeah. The special ones we have today are carbon fiber layered skateboards. Yeah, I brought five of them. Just the so top. Like, yeah, it's a carbon fiber top layer, which surprisingly adds a lot to a skateboard. So it's not so, a gimmick. No. It actually does make it stronger. It does make it stronger, definitely. So we want to find out if we could shoot through it. And or if it's different. Five of them. Are these expensive? Uh, for a price point for these, like usually companies sell them for probably 15 bucks more. Okay, than a normal so not, board. not too expensive. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna shoot these things and see uh, if carbon fiber helps you stop bad guys' bullets. <laughs> we're gonna shoot nine, 357, and 45 because all of those stopped in the third regular skateboard. We wanna see if they maybe stop in the second this time or if it's exactly the same. All right, ready? We are ready. This is nine millimeter. Nine millimeter up top. Okay. I'm gonna go 357 in the middle. And then we're gonna go 45 ACP in the bottom. Cause I like the big one in the bottom <laughs> it, the, the, of the skateboard. Did you miss the nine? Oh no, you hit over here. <laughs> Pretty much. Whoa! What happened? Stop in a second. Dude, what the heck happened on that? Okay. Okay, so nine millimeter definitely did stop in the second. It hit the third, but it's it was out hot, stuck in the second. Forty-five ACP stuck in the second, and then there's a piece of three D seven. Did it go through? Where did it go? No, it just. Uh, what? Three fifty seven just evaporated. That carbon fiber is crazy. Oh yeah. I thought that was a 45. No, that is, okay, that is 357. Okay, so 357 stopped in this. They all kind of touched this, but none of them were stuck in it like they were on the the uh, regular boards. So it actually is it stronger. It did make a difference. It's stronger for not only skateboarding, but also stopping bullets. Yeah. So they should put that on their website. There we go. Let me get that 45. Actually, that'd be a cool one to hang on the wall right there. Yeah. Carbon fiber awesome. with bullets coming out of it. That's awesome. <laughs> Keep that. Yep. All right. Last thing I want to try. 7.5 Burno again. Uh, it stopped in the 12th with the regular boards. So we have five of the carbon fiber boards. Wow! <laughs> Did you see that B? <laughs> we have five carbon fiber boards and then regular boards. Let's see how many it takes. Jeez, that gun is a man's gun. Boom! Stopped in the third. I'm just kidding. It didn't. That would be insane. Actually, it, yeah, it definitely kept going. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It actually went further. <laughs> Dude, that Didn't round is that insane. How hot is that? It's not bad. Dude, that is stuck in there good. We are going to actually give these things away. So I'm going to give some away on my channel. He's going to give some away on his channel. So go check out Nigel. I'll link him in the description below. And also check the description where we talk about how we're actually going to give these to you. We'll sign all of them. And appreciate you coming today. Thank you. Thank you for having me out. For this sure. is an awesome science experiment. Now we know. Now we know. <laughs> and uh, we're also going to be doing a little video on the Off the Ranch channel. He asked me if I skate, and I was like, no. And so, But he will. He, oh, he will. He wants to teach me how. What are you, are you, am I going to do tricks? You're going to drop in. That's, that's my main Drop goal. in? Yeah.
That sounds easy. That sounds like an easy trick. No problem. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Village Ranch. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Come on, Jack It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell mayor. Clean that up. <sighs> All right. <laughs>